We're gonna have to come back. Lucky. Lucky. Check this out. Do you see it? Right here behind me is what I believe is or was the summer kitchen to this Confederate's house. The house was standing during the war. I believe I dug a breastplate here if you've seen that video. So yeah, that, that's where we're at. But uh we're going to uh we're gonna we're gonna be finding the privy today. Well actually we've already found the privy and we've been digging in it but first I wanted to show you guys this property right quick. Ah it rained a lot last night. We were hoping it wouldn't rain a whole lot because we've already, like I said, we've already started digging, but look at this old house site. See the flowers coming up? Is that not pretty? There's an old rock wall right here. It runs. Some more flowers right there. It's just barely February and there's already flowers coming up. But uh, yeah, check this uh. I guess this is a uh, cellar hole right here over my shoulder. See that? Right here, you have steps going down right there. And then it's just a low spot right over here. And there's just a huge, just bricks everywhere. But this definitely looks like a cellar hole, doesn't it? That's what I think it is. You got the back steps and then our storm cellar. Yeah. Well, you don't see too many of those around here. It's about the only one I know of other than that one that I'm not gonna name. Okay, so let me show you what we're working with now. All right, so there's the, uh, the summer kitchen or what I believe to be the summer kitchen. And right off the back of it, We put about two hours in yesterday, but right off the back over here, as you can see, here's the back corner. There was two divots in the ground, and uh, we started probing around. Easy. We started probing around, and as you can tell, pretty, pretty deep there, but all of this came out of that hole but we're gonna have to widen it today we started getting down to square nails and horseshoes at like the four foot mark in both holes so that's what we're gonna do what are you doing boy would you would you a photo bombing me you show that one you hear oh wow so deep okay those are your good shoes wow so as you can see it's pretty deep it's gonna be deeper so, we're gonna document everything that comes out, anything cool that comes out, and uh, yeah, we gotta get started. We're widening in the hole. Daddy found an axe head. He said he's not getting in the crapper. So, yeah, go show them what Daddy found. There she blows. Let me see. And look, I found a shelf. Like a door lock? May 26, 1864. Looks like a luggage. No, Can't no. hit that close to that. I brought a little short shelf. Okay. Where's the data? Right here? I think it's right in here somewhere. But right here. It says, oh. and then, oh my God. it says, Li L-I-E Lybridge. Wow, that is awesome. And then patented wow. May. There's another word right there. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. May 1864. That is that's nice. That's a historic piece there off of this house. Yeah. Alright, Daddy's digging the relics and we're digging the dicky. Alright, so we've widened it out and now we're starting to get it back into the lime area, so. Jason's got his glove. It's got an eagle on it. 
Oh wow. Let me see. Oh, That's cool. Where? That's cool. Oh, you know what? I lied. All right. Well, 1850. 1854, not 64. 1854. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely 1854. 1854. The, 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 Where are you the at? It's the bottom right. Where are you? Just like, no, no, so. no, no, no. All right. Find well. the brick place. What are you doing? I'm climbing some trees. Oh, All right, Jason is now in the hole. I don't know if you can see down in there, but we have a layer of lime right there. Yeah, we got a layer of lime right there. And Jason, go ahead and uh, all right, go ahead and show them the probe how it, how it's just going in there. Well, uh, this is a five foot probe, so we're at about four foot right now. Yeah. But... If you don't hit bricks on the way down, it's effortless, ain't it? Yeah, it's there's nothing to it. So we're nowhere near the bottom. Yeah. And as you can see. <laughs> that bottom should be. Cool. Yeah, that, you, you hit that clay, it should just stop. Yeah. But we're going to keep digging. I'll show you. Other than that lock plate, here's some of the stuff that's coming out. Got some just pieces of pottery. We got a couple whole bottles, but they're not old. Clay pot. But, uh. Daddy and um, Joe done abandoned the done abandoned it. The uh, the pooper. <laughs> the, the, the pooper. They ain't on pooper. They're over there digging relics. So something too crazy comes out, we might uh take a siesta, a hiatus from the digging for a few minutes and swing. I don't know, but I want to find some bottles. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but we hit clay here, so we filled that one back in. Jason, while me and Levi were filling that one in, Jason came over here and started working on this one, and he just pulled a, a bone out. Awesome. It's got saw marks on it. Not as much glass coming out of this one, but we're hoping that it might be the oldest one. But uh, I did, right before we hit clay on that last one, I did pull this out right before, literally the shovel before we hit clay, I pulled that out. I thought it was an inkwell at first but it's just a screw top. But uh, we're gonna keep pecking along and hopefully get on top of something. All right, I wasn't filming the other day, but we put old Aaron on his hey, boy. first bullets. Come on. So he come over here with us and he got him a nice older knife right here. We just pulled that out. Yeah, it's got saw marks <laughs> on it. See that bone? <laughs> hey boy, it's like I've been there a minute, ain't it? But uh, that's a cool knife. Yeah. Yep, this this this, cool. this spot right here is rough, ain't it? Yes, it is. There's stuff lot, everywhere. A lot of lot. Of, the ground's hot. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna keep pecking around. I hear you. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so Aaron picked up this b bone, and we we're trying to figure out what we thought it might be, and he made a good point. He's talking about how the bone is flat across the top, mm -hmm. almost like they they sawed down. You can actually see saw you marks see the going saw that marks, way. Yeah to get the marrow out yeah and there's not too and many then, folks doing that these days you can see you the can butcher's see marks right here butcher's marks on it so this is probably an older bone yeah no doubt say it's a pig i mean with the girth and the shortness of it yeah it's probably a pig bone and they were probably getting that yeah, marrow I mean, out that, rendering it down and cooking with it that joint ain't that flat right there you know yeah so that's been sawed off and that's what i say for, 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 hey, for, what? for a second yeah, Jason's, oh, he's getting into some lime down there. Yeah, and I'm paying him in while he's doing it. Let's see it. It's oh, not baby. looking near as organic. Maybe it's because it's older. I don't know. So, it's definitely a privy right here. Yeah. Two privy side by side. Really yep, hopefully this is uh, the oldest one. All right, onward. We're in the hole still. Check out that. Check that baby out. Is that not beautiful? It's, it's more beautiful from this angle. But this one's more promising. Yes, Let me get y'all down here. I'll show you what uh what we're looking at right I was here. getting excited. All right, so down in the hole. It's like clay over here, but I found a soft, uh, uh, I tapped the wall with my shovel and it sounded hollow. 
So I started digging and it's just this real soft stuff up in here and the cup was sitting right here. So we're probably gonna have to widen this up a little bit. But oh, we've put some work in, but hopefully it's about to pay off as all our phones start going off. But anyways, let's keep going. So uh, daddy's on the phone with Levi. Levi and Brandon took off down the road to another spot. And uh, we just heard that Levi just found a breastplate. So that is awesome. Um, we'll, we'll get some footage of that here in a little bit. Uh, Jason just was going through my tailings and there's a square nail that just come out. So things are popping right now. Breastplates and <laughs> plates and balls and go. cups. All right, onward. Let's put another shrimp on the bobby. Uh, Levi dug some kind of 1940s Australian coin. It's got a kangaroo on the back and some some dude on the front. Don't know much about Australian coins. <laughs> so, And he said it was laying right on top of a breastplate. No, that never gets old. Number two for Levi. Same property. That is sweet, man. He said he's still shaking. So you were to ask Brandon. I yelled, I yelled for him for that coin. And I was like, Brandon, I got some kind of coin somebody done shot. I was like, it's Australian or something. And then he went back over there and I was like, Brandon! <laughs> what you talking about the breastplate? <laughs> All right, we're still in the pooper. <laughs> so. Here's your relic, sir. Good job. Brandon brought it. He said he dug a gold coin and it was a damn piece of fool. <laughs> so, all right, so here we got, here's what we got going on here. This is the first preview I've dug. And what's weird is the saw starts going that way. And uh, we're having to widen the hole as we go. So I don't know if we're getting into where they moved it over and we're getting into another preview or what, but it's, uh, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's fun. All right, Levi, Levi came over with uh, another relic that he left in his pouch. <laughs> what y'all know about that? <laughs> is that? Is that period? <laughs> Man, they was hard up to smoke them some weed, weren't they? <laughs> so what was these used for? Good God. Where's that, uh, where's that weight at? Daddy dug this. He come over here and hand dropped me. He's like, I just dug a coin. I don't know what it is yet. And I said... That's the thickest coin I've ever seen, if it's a coin. Some sort of bell seal or something. Maybe a hem weight, I don't know. Those two holes, it might be some kind of fancy hem weight. Dang, things are popping everywhere. Hey, what, kind of, yeah. what kind of button you said that could be? Oh yeah, let me see that button and film it right quick. Daddy, oh, Daddy also dug this is. button earlier. Like pewter, though. It looks What's pewter. It's got stars on it. And like the laurel okay, branches on the bottom. It's a two-piece, but it's missing the back. So, pretty cool. If you know what that is, I don't know. That's old. Here you go. All right, back to work, guys. All right, Daddy just let out a banshee scream, and we were like, dang, Daddy done dug a plate, and all of a sudden I said, what? He said, boil it. All right, let me see it. The sun keeps changing on me. Dug him a sharps. Sorry that every time I film, I'm from I'm in this hole, but that's where I've kind of been. Everybody's finding stuff around me, and me and Jason's just playing in the poop hole. But it's gonna pay off, I think. It's gonna pay off. All right, Daddy, go find you another one. All right, all right, Jason. Me and Jason have switched. Brandon went down by the river. Found him. Four brass buckles. Not sure how old they are, but I'm gonna say they're pretty old. Are you giving up? No. Okay, good. I ain't turning my machine. You're just getting off, off that hill. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the wind, y'all. It's cold out of this hole. <laughs> There's no wind down there. We're still tunneling in. Hoping. Here's a bunch of the stuff that's come out of both of these privies. Yeah, I've been wiping on that breastplate over there. So, 
It's been a it's been a lot of work today. Here, you want me to show you? you want me Hopefully, show you we'll. Trick, he, right? I think Jason's about to pull a whiskey out. It grows deeper. Check it out. I think I just popped a hole. And you see it down in there, Jason? Let's light it up. You want me to go grab uh, Brandon's hand digger? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. It's embossed. Oh yeah. What do you say, little buddy? I can't read you. Man, that feels good to do. <laughs> that feels good. Yeah. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me see if I can't get. Can it read this? I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, it's Solomon. Solomon Company Branch Drugstore. Oh, here it is. How old? Savannah, Georgia. Savannah? $65. $65 bottle. Right here, dude. Woo! All the work. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to sell it, y'all, but that gives us an idea of how rare it is. Does oh, it have an man. age on it? No, not. This is on some bottle. We're going to have to widen the hole because... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep going a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna let Jason. Jason might want to hop back in here. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 worked on it, worked on it, and literally three shovelfuls later, after I hop in here, it's, it's from Savannah. Uh, that's awesome. I, I pull one out. That's just how it's gonna go, you know. Switching out. All right, onward. We're gonna have to come back <laughs> because I'm in a cave. Oh man, is this thing right? All right. Let me, sh let me show y'all what the heck is going on right now. We are tunneling back through here. As you can see, I can't, I can barely reach. I can't even reach. It's about four foot in there, and we're going to widen it, or we're going to be in danger of it collapsing, so. Yeah, to be continued, to say the least, there's going to be some bottles. That one, we think, is 1800s, don't we? So. Yeah, it's no later than turn of the century. First privy. Success. My first privy, anyways. Well, well the second one, but, <laughs> yeah, they were right next to each other. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I dug. We know for a fact now. I dug my first 1800s bottle. It says patented on the bottom. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this in this lighting or not. But on the bottom, across that lip, it says patented January 8th, 1890. So my first 1800s bottle. And to dig it in a privy. Man, that's sweet. Good God, what a thumbnail. Levi, just come and just check this thumbnail out. Look at that thumbnail. <laughs> Dude, what a day it's been. You got, your, you got your second breast plate. I got my first 1800s glass. Oh yeah, there's the cup. I also pulled this out. I didn't, I don't think I filmed it, but this is, this was definitely made on a potter's wheel. Um, some more old glass right there. Jason said that's 100% 1800s. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to come back because that's going to collapse on top of us and we're going to have to widen the hole. It's going to take a lot of work. It'll probably take three hours next time of digging before we even start, uh, before we're even able to go down deeper. But, oh, dang, a breastplate, the preview's working out, the old... The crock pot. pot. <laughs> it's been a good day. All right, guys. All right, we're in the hole. I'm finding some of this beautiful, this beautiful plate. Might be able to get it all out. But uh, we're just now getting into some good glass. Let me bump this up so you guys can see. Check this out. Right there, that plate's sticking out. But right here is what I'm interested in. We got a, looks like a whiskey top poking out right there.